Hi, I'm Jason. And I'm Stephanie. And we're Two, Two Wranglers. Wranglers. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Invited to hang out with some friends for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day, which happens to be our wedding anniversary. This is our setup. We're finally able to use our new Patriot Camper bathroom slash changing room tent. And Jason is crafting something wonderful in the kitchen. I wish we could bottle the smell. And I have everybody. bottled. <laughs> you know? I could try. <laughs> it's... Just send it to people and go, take a sniff. <laughs> <laughs> Center vision. Anyway, uh, we once again have the mountain skillet. Huge fan favorite of ours. Delicious, a little bit of everything. And um, man, it really, it really fills your tummy for a big long day out on the trails, which will be perfect. Today will be a long day on the trails. Yeah, so we'll have, we'll have a good full stomach for that. Nice. <laughs> I leaked all over That's me. Cool. Where do you think she found that? Costco. All right. <laughs> have the same brand, the same long arm, yeah. Yeah, Heather's is exactly the same. Mine's a little different because it's the Gladiator. Yeah. 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 I, I pulled into the Shell station. This is our friend Eddie, who with subtle hand gestures is retelling a lively story on his experience at a gas station. I can't go to the other park. Oh. And then his girlfriend was sitting there laughing at You don't watch. Probably. Yeah. Oh, you 
about that obstacle because man i really struggled um you did it, it's fair to say that i went last after five six other jeeps in front of me that kind of rutted it out and moved boulders and moved rocks but um you still got it my line wasn't great so at the end i made the adjustments and i did get through it but like a champ thank you so much I couldn't see any. I'm like, yeah. can't I see thought, you. I saw Eddie's finger. <laughs> he was like this. No, no. Okay. I, Did you see his hand? No. I, no, I, I couldn't, I couldn't yeah. see the I line coming out. I couldn't, I couldn't so. see. Like, I can't even tell what direction my wheel was turning because it was kind of cockeyed. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't know if it was turn, turn, or just a little bit of turn. And, that's and they're like, like driver. Well, I don't know what direction. <laughs> yeah. Girl, I am the driver. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> those, those rocks just came down. Uh, Recently. You know, oh, uh, okay. like within a week or two. Um. There were a few rocks, but no big ones that, like that. That big one was right through there. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah there's... talking on either side uh -huh. of it. You're going to have to get more level before I hop into that thing. Okay. I'll pull right up there. Yeah. Why don't you just back it up to where she's at?
so a little about the Black Gulch Jeep Trail. It's a mouthful. It's an easy to moderate trail, as you've seen, and it's a little over 11 miles long. It has a few hill climbs where four low is a safe option, but definitely not required. Uh, we were here on New Year's Eve, and it had rained pretty heavy the day before. The ground was damp, but not bad overall. Outside of the rocks in the beginning, there is no real slipping. Overall, it's a nice trail. Drops you down at the base of Lake Isabella. So if you would like to, to, to pick any of these, it's beer. Oh, thank you, ma'am. It's beer. <laughs> we stopped for lunch at the Kern River Brewing Company, which was so good. Even our dogs loved it. Basic chili. Basic chili. <laughs> We love basic chili. Like on, a, on a cold night like this, yeah, basic chili true. is as good as it gets. <laughs> Nothing special. I think it will be. <laughs> Especially after I have six hot toddies like I'm planning on. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, but look, fresh onion and well, spices. Kind of nice. Were you able to obtain the ice? Let's just say that this is our second bag tonight. Because the first bag, as I walked out of the store, I accidentally dropped it. It hit the ground, split open, and ice just went everywhere. <laughs> and the girl said, oh my God, I'm so sorry. That'll be 324. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for New Year's Eve, in the lineup, we have s'mores, zebra popcorn, whatever, and what are you serving? Uh, right now I'm making hot toddies. Oh. So that's ready to go. Oh, uh, yes. We're gonna do some black walnut uh, old fashions. Oh. And I've also have Tiki T's secret hot buttered rum. Hot buttered rum. This I know. So that is uh, on the menu. Oh, that's exciting. Well, we appreciate a good bartender on New Year's Eve, let me tell you. All right, let's. Uh, Oh my, that seems like a lot of scotch. <laughs> oh, it smells like 
so good. Like part medicine, part... Part mm -hmm. hot, part toddy. <laughs> part hot, part toddy. Yeah, but like um, it does have a medicinal smell, don't you think? And I think that you had mentioned previously in one of our videos that it was like kind of to help if you had a cold or something. Yeah, absolutely. And it has that kind of, I mean, think about it. You've got lime, vitamin C. Lemon. I Not meant lemon. lemon. I meant lemon. I'm sorry. That's okay. Lemon, vitamin C, something warm to coat your throat from a sore throat. Turbinata sugar. So that is. I have no idea. Turbinata or demerara you can use, um, or you can use regular sugar. Yeah, there's a bunch of different recipes to where you can do it. But. Sure, sure. But. I'm not sure what the purpose is other than to make it sweet, to make it like what Mary Poppins, like spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. Well, Maybe well, there's a little bit of that. that they're having. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I got kind of a big pot going here. So. I cannot wait to have some. However, yeah. it's only about 6 p.m. So we have to pace ourselves because midnight's a long way off if you we start the hot toddy so right if now. If you have six every hour, you could be able to maintain. <laughs> six every hour? I think you mean one every hour. Even then, that would be six. No, these go down like butter. Oh, hot butter rum. Right. Well, there you no. go. So, yeah. Lovely yeah. segue. Well, we decided to come to bed early. We're both really tired and wanted to come upstairs to our rooftop tent before midnight to actually do the countdown here. So, our friends are sitting by the fire and they're enjoying themselves. And we came up here to. Have happy new year and Absolutely. happy anniversary yeah. at midnight. For those of you that don't know, our wedding anniversary is January 1st. So every New Year's Eve, we kind of party a little extra harder because of that. So uh, we've got about 20 more seconds. And yes. Happy 2024! Happy 2024! Goodbye 2023! Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Happy New Year Muppet! Hurry up with the champagne already! I know, I'm working on it, I'm working on it. <laughs> hey, happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! 24 years! Not bad! Yeah! <laughs> happy to do another 24. That'll be good. I like yeah. that. <laughs> oh my god! Yay! Champagne! Yay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I was so nervous about that. <laughs> they it's... hit the ceiling and be a huge mess, and that's how we would start our new year. An absolute explosion. Mm -hmm. of... Yay. <laughs> What's that, buddy? That's not for dogs. All right. Cheers. Cheers. Happy New Happy Year. <laughs> Happy New Year. Happy anniversary. Happy anniversary. Love you. Love you too. Yum. Yay. Here we go. We made it. Happy New Year, everybody. Happy New Year. Hi, Happy New Year and welcome to Cocktrails. Hey everybody, happy holidays and welcome to Cocktrails. Tonight I'm coming to you live from our home tiki bar and I'm going to make a black walnut old fashioned. This drink is made up of bourbon, some rich demerara syrup, black walnut bitters, and some Luxado cherries for garnish. So to make a black walnut old fashioned, you need a couple dashes of bitters, black walnut bitters. Now the black walnut bitters have tasting notes from some hazelnut, some cocoa, and well, of course, black walnut. 
So we'll do a couple dashes of this. I'm gonna double it up because I'm gonna make two cocktails in one out of this one, but I'll call out the ingredients specifically as if I was doing one drink. We're gonna do half an ounce of Demerara syrup. This is a two to one Demerara. So you're gonna do basically two cups of sugar to one cup of water when you make this, but I'm gonna pour in one ounce since I'm making a double batch here. And then we're gonna do four ounces of some Dog Creek, which is a great daily driver if you're looking for a good I think I need to take the off. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's it. I know. That's your glass. <laughs> so, first we're going to get the cap out of this glass. <laughs> and then we're going to get a really good stir. I've got a couple of big ice cubes in here. We do want to blend this drink really well, so we'll stand here for a couple more seconds. And then we'll strain this into these two glasses. Yeah, that's a large ice cube. Yes. That's We are going to scoop out a couple of Lassardo cherries. I would normally put these on a stick. I don't have one right now with me. I'm going to pretend that we're camping and we're missing stuff like normal. <laughs> I would normally be doing this with a wooden spoon, not a regular stir stick, but that's all right also. And there you have a black one in fashion. Enjoy. I'm going to give you this one. I'll keep the one that had the cap in it. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Ooh, love it. So that we get the uh, green uh, hazelnut, black walnut. I am going to make a black walnut old fashioned, walnut old fashioned, <laughs> whatever. Awesome. Welcome to our holiday special of two cocktails. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah, I'm having two cocktails, cocktails. on. <laughs>